Hey guys, Hank back here with you. Got a big old coat behind the camera tonight. Uh, I want to do another quick video. I have a lot of you guys asking me what kind of oils I used and why I used them. Uh, real quick, I'll tell you what I, how I start off with. Start off cleaning my guns with Hoppy's number nine, guys. Hoppy's number nine and rim oil. That's all I use, man. If it's a light coat, it's a gun that we shoot a lot. I'll come home, spray it down with this, Q-tip it out real quick. I won't do a hammer job on it. I'll just do a field clean is what we call a Marine Corps. If it gets real bad and it gets gummed up, I use Hoppy's number nine and soak it with that. It works good. Uh, when I'm breaking guns in, when I put a gun together and I build one and I polish it and I do all the things I do to it, this is what I use the first probably five, 600 rounds. I use this. It's a Royal Purple Max Tough. This stuff is amazing. It's great breaking oil. It stays on the part. It doesn't move. It doesn't wander all over the place. Really good oil. Once I've got my guns broke in, um, my standard semi-auto guns, regular guns, shotguns, guns that don't have a rear breed trigger in them, I use, guys, Mobile One, pure synthetic mobile oil. You can't, 15W50, you can't beat this stuff. It's thick enough, it's heavy. It's made from propane, uh, so it's got amazing qualities. It runs clean. It stays on the parts. You, you can't beat it. Also, for a long storage, I use this for, if I've got a gun that's going to sit in the safe and I don't use it for uh, six, eight months, a year, sometimes I don't shoot some of these guns. I'll go through, dip my finger in here, and just rub the whole gun, barrel, and everything, just give it a coat of that stuff. Man, it's good and safe for a year. I've never had any issues with it. It's a good store oil. It's a good store oil for your guns. On my rare breed triggers, my WOTs, and my uh, Fostec triggers that I run, guys, this is the best doggone oil you can get. Uh, the military been using this oil for 25, 30 years. And for a long time, it was, uh, believe it or not, it was secret. They wouldn't let anybody use it. It was proprietary to the military, and I guess, I'm not sure on the dates. Don't, don't, uh, correct, don't, don't check my dates here, but I believe, I believe it was 12 years ago. Uh, they were allowed to release this to the public and start selling it to the public. This is what the Marine, uh, military and Marine Corps uses on all their mall deuces, all their heavy machine guns, M M249s. It's this oil right here. It's biodegradable. It's really clean. Hell, you could eat this thing. It wouldn't kill you. Uh, but it works really, really good. It stays on the parts. It doesn't travel. And a very little bit goes a long way. Uh, you get a chance, Google this and, uh, and or YouTube it and look at the, the uh, video they make on this, how it works on your gun, how it mole molecularly bonds to your, to your metal on your gun and fills the voids and stuff. It's amazing amazing oil it's a little pricey i buy mine on amazon uh, but it's well worth the buy and like i said a little bit goes a long way and talking about a little bit goes a long way too this stuff guys how about this 10 years ago used it on probably 200 guns and that's all i've used in over 10 years i mean when i say a little bit goes a long way everybody should have a can of this stuff Dip, in, dip your finger in there, rub it on all the parts that rub, all the bolt carriers when you're in a pinch. That stuff works amazing. Don't overdo it, because if you overdo it, it'll make a mess. But... How deep should you put your fingers in there? Oh, Colt, let me tell you, man. Knuckle deep. <laughs> Just knuckle deep, the first knuckle, son. I got You got to train these youngins, guys. I'm sorry about that. You got to train these guys. But anyways, that's how I use my oils. That's what I use. If I'm going to the field and I'm dove hunting during dove season... We come in every night, we spray the guns down with rim oil. That's just the Marine in me, man. I can't help it. My dad raised me that way. Don't You go out and shoot a gun, you bring it home, you better clean it, damn thing, or at least half-ass clean it so you don't tear it up. Because if you don't take care of it, your gun's not going to take care of you. That's just the plain true story of it. Guys, that's all I got on oils. That's all I use. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you subscribe. Please share it. If this helps y'all out, I hope it does. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Subscribe. We'll see you the next time. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the great state of Texas. See y'all around.